guys and welcome back to the layer issue you know, Bay, the budget and butterfly if you're new here hello and welcome and for the family members returning welcome back so i hope you guys are all been doing well in these times and our lives and for those in the state of florida we got this okay and like a girl always says always be kind but be your own kind of beautiful so in today's video we're gonna go ahead and count up this change that I have here in my piggy bank. Ooh, ooh. Look how cute my piggy bank is. Look at her. But I done made the mistake <sighs> and lost her bottom. And y'all, she has no bottom. Like the little piece. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know what I did with it. So. What I've been doing is using my girl Lily's <laughs> little butterfly bows that she sent me. How cute. And look. Fits perfectly on the little base. Okay. So let's get it started. I'm going to tell y'all right now. This is going to be time consuming. So I'm just going to speed this up. Okay. Now, these are the sheets that I'm going to be using to color in, and it's just an easy way to help me keep track of my change. So we all know 50 pennies is 50 cent, and it's going to take 50 pennies to fill up the coin roller, okay? Nickels, you need 40 nickels to create $2, $2 roll. 50 dimes to create a $5 roll. 40 quarters to create a $10 roll. And I have a sheet for dollar quarters, a quarter dollars, however you want to say it. And this is a total of $16. And then you have the 50 cent pieces. If you save enough of those, you'll save $12. I don't know why I didn't put the amounts on there. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, guys, so I've separated all the coins. We have a dollar here, um, quarters, dimes, half a dollar, and nickels, and pennies. So we're not going to even worry about the pennies because we know we have clearly over 50 pennies. We might have a dollar there. So let's do the nickels. Um, let me see. So we need 40 nickels to complete a sheet and get this rolled up get it rolled up so let's see if we have 40 nickels one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Wow, we have forty-one nickels. So that means we don't even really have to fill the sheet out because we know we got forty nickels. So we're just gonna take the nickels and roll them up, and then we'll have two nickels. Two nickels, two dollars worth of nickels. That's what I meant to say. All right, so let me write that down. Cause you know your girl forgetful. So we have 41 nickels. Let's use the scribble scrabble. All right, so we need 50 dimes. Let's slide back over here and see if we have 50 dimes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Okay, that's one, two, five, two, six, two, seven, eight, 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 eight. Do not have 30. I want the two. The eight, the four, the five, the six, the seven, 38, the nine, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dimes. So that's 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So being that we have the 10, oh, we could have did that with that nickel too. So we have the 50 and then we have 10 left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go back and mark that one nickel off since we had one left. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so quarters. We have to have 40 quarters. Yeah, we do not have 40 quarters. I'll we'll tell you that right now. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. We only have twenty-six quarters. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Okay, so we got twenty six of those. Quarter dollars. We have one of those. So I'm gonna mark that one off. Um, 50 cent pieces, we have four of those, one, two, three, four of those, and y'all, I'm not going to be, um, doing the pennies right now, hey, got to go, I'm not going to be doing the pennies right now, so we already know that we have a lot to count with it. But once I roll it up, I'm going to come back and I'm going to uh, update with that picture. Okay, guys? Okay, guys. I'm back. I've sorted through all of the coins. As you can see, I have all the coins here laid out. And the coins that I didn't, um, that I did save, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Okay, to the nine zones saved. So we're just going to add that to the collection of saved coins I have. And then we're going to continue on. The next time I um, save my change, we um, have, how many pennies we had? Let me see. Uh, we have 14 cents left in pennies. And we had like $6.50 left. We're almost there. We marked off four 50 cent pieces. Uh... We had like 11 dimes left, one nickel, and one dollar quarter. All right, so I have a A5 binder that I use to keep my change in. And we have nickels, which we have one nickel here. Dimes. quarters. This is a good way to keep track of your change. This is just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is my Black Beauty binder. Here we have our pennies and we have our leftover pennies here. Ooh, the hand ashy. Ooh, the hand ashy. Don't come for me. Dollar quarter. One fifty cent piece. I need to make some real labels. Okay. And that is it, guys. I will try to um, have these uploaded on Etsy and on my Ko-Fi for you guys. However you feel like you want to purchase them. Saving your change. Hey, it's fun as well. So till next time, guys. Like your girl say. Save $1, save $2, save $5, or save $10. And stuff within your budget. Bye.